Hey friends, so you are gonna do some afternoon large family freezer cooking with me. I got a few recipes that we're gonna do this afternoon, uh, hopefully in just like two to three hours. We've got some other projects going on around the house and I have this limited time. If you saw some of my uh, past vlogs I shared, I'll never get another freezer cooking uh, day in again and, and I also had some grocery haul uh, saga drama where we just had a week where I kept trying to get in a freezer cooking day and life was going on wasn't gonna happen and you know how that goes so I joked with some other moms on Instagram one mom was joking about how you know sometimes plan B doesn't work and sometimes plan C doesn't work and I say yo by the time we get to plan like D or F or G <laughs> uh, then I just I just give up and like okay we'll try it again later so I didn't think I would get a freezer cooking day in until our next big grocery haul, but this afternoon I actually have a little block of time and I think it's gonna happen because here we are doing it. So here's my little mad scientist plan here on this little whiteboard. We're gonna do baked oatmeal breakfast muffins. We're gonna do blueberry and chocolate chip and applesauce. We're gonna do freezer hamburger patties. We're gonna do freezer turkey burger patties and I'm gonna do a bunch of tuna cakes for the freezer. All of these recipes are gonna be over on largefamilytable.com for you to see individually if you'd like. I'll also have a post entailing all the details of this freezer cooking afternoon. Hey, Daniel puppy. Are we making some muffins? Did you, hey, look at mommy. Did you go out with daddy some? Yeah, dad. Did you go to the parts store? Mm, yeah. Did you go to Walmart? Yes. Did you go to get a treat? Yes. What treat did you get? Um, sorry, and cookies. Cookies? Good job wiping the counter, Daniel. Good job. So we have enlisted our super mega large family size bowl. I think this bowl is like a... a and I'm wiping the and counter. you're wiping the counters, you are. If I remember correctly, it's a 30-some quart. I'm pretty sure it is. I'll have my Amazon link in the description below if you're interested in checking it out. But there it is. And I got this bowl for freezer cooking days in particular. When we are doing, good job, a whole lot of mixing. A whole lot of mixing going on. So, I've got a bunch of different oatmeal out. We're going to use most of this for the baked oatmeal muffins. But I also need some for the tuna cakes. Oh boy, Daniel, I'm going to, yeah, you smell it. You come over here. Now you get to dump these in. Okay, dump it all in. Dump, 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 dump. Good job. That's one. So that was four cups. Say four cups of old fashioned oats. Four cups of flour machine cups. Of old fashioned cups. Okay. Good job, Daniel. Okay, come on over this way. Push it in. Good. So it's eight. We're doing 12 cups total of old fashioned oats. And I'm going to actually do the baked oatmeal chocolate chip muffins. are working hard on getting their bedrooms cleaned right now. That's where the younger kids are all upstairs with Travis cleaning and bigger boys are doing schoolwork and Daniel's here making muffins and Benjamin's watching us. So next we're going to put in eight teaspoons of baking powder. I'm going to do all the dry ingredients in here and then the wet and then we'll blend them all together. The yeah. main reason, yeah, yeah, the main reason you do that is to make sure that your baking powder blends well which uh, is important when you're doing muffins. So I would also tell you to put in four tablespoons of cinnamon and I'm out. Oh, I do have some allspice and some cloves, but I'm gonna save the little bit that I have of each for the applesauce baked oatmeal muffins and for the blueberry baked oatmeal muffins. I figured with the chocolate chip muffins, since we have that winning ingredient, we can get away without having some cinnamon. <laughs> Are you busy eating some, Daniel? Yummy. Okay, we're going to now, Mommy's going to carry it over here for you. And then I want you to dump it in. So we got four cups brown sugar. And then take your wooden spoon. Let's take our wooden spoon. And mixy, mixy. Woo! Good job, Daniel. Now we're going to put some little things in this little bowl. And then we're going to mix them up together, okay? I'm not going to use that one right now, but we're going to use this vanilla. So we're going to do two tablespoons of vanilla now in our little wet bowl. Okay, Daniel, now we're going to do one cup of oil. Okay, now we're doing two cups of applesauce. 
So we're doing four cups of milk, okay? Whoop, a little bit more to the four. Almost there. Oh, boy. Okay, now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. You turn around the other way. I know you would like to touch and pat it all. It's such a good Montessori sensory experience. Okay, pour it in, buddy. Woo! Yeah. Oh, yay! Milk, milk, milk. Milk, milk, milk. Mommy's going to get our picture, too, and video. Nice. Look at that. Fun. Yeah, you can mix that. That's fine. Gotta find my scissors, but this bag of chocolate chips, semi-sweet chocolate chips from Walmart is four cups. So we're gonna we'll let Daniel have fun and dump the whole thing in. Boy, Daniel, you wanna dump this in? Whole oh, big thing. Wow! Oh boy, now you can mix them with your spoon. Mix them with your spoon. Good job. Okay, so our, hold on one second, sweetie, our chocolate chip baked oatmeal breakfast muffins they are ready and yeah. we're gonna put them yeah we're gonna bake them now aren't we yeah yes let's go okay so we've got three dozen here i'm gonna put them in the oven at 375 for about 30 to 35 minutes and uh we still got some more left so we'll make more after this next up i'm gonna do about 10 pounds worth of ground beef hamburger patties and then i'm gonna do five pounds of turkey burger and hopefully get those tuna cakes in too my camera battery is only on 35 percent and i have all my other batteries charging so i'm taking lots of pictures and hopefully i have enough battery power to actually film this all so actually since my big bowl is in use over there with muffins we've got a little over 20 minutes left on the muffins in the oven so i'm gonna work on these ground beef hamburger patties i'm gonna use a pot because i'm just that kind of creative lady to mix my hamburger patties in to start we're gonna i'm gonna go ahead and put in in four tablespoons of garlic powder we're using about six tablespoons of paprika four tablespoons of cumin and then about another four tablespoons of parsley gonna put those in first and then get my hands dirty with the ground beef and mixing them together and making them into patties so there are all those spices looking so beautiful in the pot if you hear any uh background bass travis has the music thumping upstairs and it's funny i just naomi just reported he's got the uh the microphone to naomi's karaoke machine that he got that she got for christmas and so he's encouraging the kids and telling them things to do and telling them you know where to put their laundry and everything all all by a microphone there we go and here are our burgers i got 24 to 5 to 6 to 7 27 burgers out of that 10 pounds of ground beef of course, my burgers are very thick. They'll be very juicy. So we're gonna flash freeze these in the freezer right now and then bag them up. So we've got our first batch, three dozen baked oatmeal chocolate chip muffins are cooling over here and then running over here. We've got two more dozen of that same recipe and then our bowl is empty. So that batch made five dozen. Okay, and then I'm gonna set the timer here for 30 minutes. Next up, um, what am I doing? I'm doing turkey burgers. That's it. So for the turkey burgers, I've got a cup of Parmesan cheese. We're going to use two tablespoons of garlic powder, two tablespoons of par parsley flakes, and I have five pounds, or actually I have six pounds, six pounds of turkey burgers. So that's what we're using in our turkey burgers. Okay, so now I'm gonna jump in the turkey burger meat. I've taken a break for a minute to get a load of dishes going. I got some muffins, about two dozen or so in bags over there. Got some more over there on the counters. Mr. Daniel's playing. So here's kind of our overview, round and round. Anyway, gonna get these dishes going. Hold on, sweetie, gonna get these dishes going and take a break and nurse Mr. Benjamin. Here is our baked oatmeal blueberry muffin mix. Getting ready to be put into our little muffin tins. And Miss Amelia, who is going to be five tomorrow? Miss Chocolate on your face. Me. Are you having a happy birthday? What kind of birthday are you going to have? Elsa. An Elsa party? And where's your Elsa party going to be? At the roller skating ring. At the roller skating ring. Yes. You will be cleaning up your toys, making room for your happy birthday? Yeah, it's, it's all done. It's all done? I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Yeah. You are going to have a wonderful there birthday. Me. Okay, so there are our baked oatmeal blueberry muffins. And I'm um, grabbing my phone because I just gotta take pictures. See, I can't, uh, I can't just freezer cook. I am freezer cooking and I am taking YouTube, making a YouTube video out of it. And I'm sharing on Instagram stories and I'm 
taking pictures for blog posts. Because I can't just make my muffins, I gotta help you make muffins too. So it uh, gets a little more complicated than just cooking, but we're doing it our way. That's right, Millie's gonna know how to make all the muffins. So we are taking a little freezer cooking break. We're gonna read Beauty and the Beast. We're gonna read Baby Animals. We're snuggling with Benjamin. But Benjamin's getting, if we can get it, you're getting five teeth. Five teeth? Oh, man. Okay, I just pulled out these three dozen blueberry baked oatmeal muffins. I'm gonna put two more dozen in there and uh, feed the baby some more. And then we'll get on to tuna cakes. So since I'm out of cinnamon, I'm gonna use ground allspice for our applesauce muffins. I'm gonna use two tablespoons. So this is our applesauce baked oatmeal muffins. It looks a whole lot like, Daniel, looks a whole lot like regular, regular oatmeal. And uh, so anyway, we're gonna put them in our muffin cups now and make our applesauce muffins. So I just got the counter. Woo, good job. Thank you, Daniel. Just got the counter all cleaned up from all the muffins. And now I'm gonna do a quick sweep on this floor here. Okay, now the floor is back together. Just in time to start one last freezer recipe. I'm gonna rinse out this uh, our super mega large family style bowl here before we start on the tuna cakes too. And I've been keeping up on our little board. So let's see, got applesauce muffins done. So blueberries done, chocolate chips done, applesauce is done, except we do have enough for two to three more dozen once this batch of three dozen comes out of the oven. Hamburger patties are done, turkey burgers are done. Those are in the freezer. I'm gonna pull those out and put those in baggies and now we're gonna do the tuna cakes. So for the tuna cakes, I have total 120 ounces of tuna here that I'm gonna drain and we're gonna use. So this is 120 ounces worth of tuna recipe. Here we go. Okay, so we've got 120 ounces of drained tuna in our mega large family size bowl. And we are gonna do four cups of old fashioned oats. We're gonna do two dozen mm -hmm. eggs, a tablespoon of rosemary, two tablespoons of garlic powder, two tablespoons of parsley flakes. Here are three dozen of the applesauce muffins that are done. Here's our other stacks of muffins waiting to go in the freezer. So here is what the tuna cakes batch looks like right now. And now I'm gonna mix it all up. So here is my stack fresh from the garage of flash frozen patties. And of course, Benjamin hears me talking. He says, hey mama, talk to me. Here's how the hearty hamburger packs are working out. I'm getting about six of these because they are so nice and hearty into a pack and I'm just laying them flat. That way I can get more stacked in my freezer. And here they are on the pans and I'm just putting them in these freezer bags. Here's the update with the tuna cakes. I've also been making them for dinner tonight. So I have done a total of 16 and we'll have some leftovers. That has actually only given me 14 here to flash freeze, but I'm still gonna do it to show you guys the process. And then this will be one dinner with some side items for our family at some point in the upcoming month or so. Here's how the tuna cakes that I just got done cooking are looking. So I lined everything up before I go marching it out to the big refrigerator in the garage. We have a total of five dozen muffins. We've got two dozen Parmesan turkey burgers and a little over two dozen big hearty hamburgers. So for the tuna cakes, I got two and a half dozen because I made 16 for dinner and I got 14 now that are over here in my little pan. Gonna get those out in the garage to flash freeze and tomorrow I'll put them in their baggies. So here's the honest reality time from JMRL. It took me six hours and 25 minutes to do all of this, the five dozen muffins and all the dozen and dozen of burger patties and all that. Of course, a regular mama who doesn't have to film and take pictures, just all the extra gear and all that I do, I bet it would take you about three hours. I also stopped several times with Benjamin and Daniel and little assistants and uh, yeah, so that's how long it took me. So outside here in the freezer, we have, I have my whole bottom drawer full of the five dozen muffins. And then up here, along with a bunch of frozen spaghetti sauce, we have all of our burgers on the shelf. And up here, I have the pans of the tuna cakes that are gonna flash freeze. And I'll just get these in the morning and then I'll show you 
put them in the bag and give you some other info. So guys, we are back to this uh, tuna cake flash freezing. And when I say flash freezing, <laughs> it, it froze for well over a day. Let's see, I did my freezer cooking day on Thursday. I put these tuna cakes in at bedtime. Then Friday, we just party hard, having a huge birthday celebration for Amelia. And we had it at the roller skating rink. We had all kinds of friends and it was just party, party, party. I actually had the tuna cakes on my to-do list before we went out the door. And can you believe it just didn't happen? <laughs> so today the kids started archery this morning and then, um, you know, that was a, a lot of driving and such. So back home now, we're rested. Time for these tuna cakes. I've circled back to them and you can see they just uh, kind of look like oatmeal cookies. They're just frozen solid and so uh, another thing that has happened is i'm out of my big freezer bags so i'm actually going to freeze them maybe two or three at a time in these smaller sandwich bags but that is okay uh, you know i wouldn't do them i wouldn't freeze them like two to three months in these side in these bags however we will probably use these within the next week or two also go over to largefamilytable.com and all of these freezer meal recipes large family style that i shared are up over on the blog also with pictures and directions on what you actually do when it's time to cook these freezer meals and before we put these in a baggies i don't want you to forget i need you to text the word freezer the full word freezer you should see those words popping up on the screen text the word freezer to 44222 and i'm going to send you back my free mega freezer meals planning pack it's over seven pages i think we got eight pages or so in there they're all planning sheets to help you plan your own freezer cooking days whether you do large scale small scale however you want to go about it you need my free mega freezer meals planning pack to help you get squared away and organized for your day. So now we're gonna bag these up. Oh, so they're all so cute. This all probably would have fit in just one gallon freezer bag if I had any left, but that's okay because as always, we make the best with what we have on hand around here, right? Now I wanna show you a real quick slideshow of my freezer cooking pictures from this uh, freezer cooking afternoon I did this week. Okay, friends, I hope you enjoyed looking at all those pictures again one more time. Text the word freezer to 44222 to get my mega freezer meal planning pack. Or if you don't have that texting option or if it's not working or whatever, look for my link in the description below and it will take you to where you can snag my free mega freezer meals planning pack for your freezer cooking days. Okay, see you next time with another brand new video. Bye-bye.